Hello and welcome. This is a gorgeous stunner in excellent original condition. It is a Rolex Oyster Perpetual Day Date reference 1803 from 1971. This one, um, well, it's a classic day date, obviously. Um, with a beautiful pipe and dial. This one has a champagne sunburst pipe and dial without any loom. It does have uh, the tritium markings here, but it's a no loom dial, which is normal. Um, because, well, the dials were made in batches, and so the T Swiss T painting was already on there when then um, it needed to be loomed or not loomed, and so you will find. Um, dials with tritium markings, so for tritium loom, without loom, for these Rolexes of this era. This one you can also tell there's never been any loom dots, and also the hands are correct because they don't have any loom inserts. This one, very nice original condition and a um, beautiful piece. The champagne sunburst dial is uh, very, very nice uh, with very, very light patina. Um, trying to find this yeah there we go now you can see it a bit better just in really 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 nice condition super beautiful with the uh, original day and date disc as well the weekday is in english as you can see um yeah just really stunning nice condition the 18 karat solid gold case with uh, 18 karat fluted bezel is in great condition. Has been refinished in the past, um, but yeah, overall, only light signs of use, none of abuse. Um, nice condition case back as well. Here you've got 18 case stamp, then you've got uh, hallmarks here. Um, no, just 18k and hallmark. This is just from where the bracelet was before. Um, this one originally came on bracelets, uh, as you can see by the indents from where the um, the end link sat. But usually these bracelets they get very loose and uh, they get tossed out, which is what likely happened for this one. It comes uh, watch only, no box, no papers, only the head, well, with this strap. Uh, this is an aftermarket buckle, not original Rolex. Um, anyway, um, crown and original or original, uh, crown and crystal are original as well. Crystal is scratch free, crown screws down nicely. So to use this, boom, you unscrew it first and you can wind it manually. This is an automatic, so it will wind by the movement of your wrist, but you can also wind manually. Then, when you want to set the time, just pull out the crown. You'll see the second hand stop sticking because it has hacking function. Then set the time um, around midnight in the general vin uh, vicinity of it. The day and date will change, uh, as you saw. Um, so, if you want to change the uh, the weekday or the day is well they're interlinked uh, you've got a semi quick set date for this one so for this one you always need to go around but for the date itself you've got semi quick set so you go back until it starts reverting this you see went back to Wednesday this state on 25 then you go back forward, now it's on Thursday 26 with nice open sixes as you can see. Now we go backwards again until it reverses, back on Wednesday and still on 26. Now forwards again, Thursday 27 and that's how you do it pretty much. Uh, once you're done just set a time and press in and the second hand starts sticking in. Just gently push and screw on the crown and that's it, you're good to go, ready to wear and such a beauty. Measures 36 mm diameter without crown and 44 mm from luck to luck. Let me quickly show it on my wrist. Uh, there we go. Alright, here we go. This is on my very flat 7-inch wrist and just looks beautiful. 
it's uh, it's a bit dark here so well it's not giving the not doing the watch justice but yeah it's just such a stunner really really beautiful pieces anyway i hope you like it um oh i forgot um the exact details but you'll also find them in the description anyway this is a reference 1803 powered by a chronometer automatic caliber 1556 from 1971 serial number is two com uh two million eight hundred thousand something uh which dates it to 1971 um the reference and serial are nicely intact um inside of the lugs Anyway, hope you like it.